Hey, Butt Sauce, Steven here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the greatest of all time sound dampener for your custom. Hey, Bearded Techie here. Before we start, if you are new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and smack that subscribe button below. And if you like this video, smack that thumbs up button and drop a comment. Oh, and if you hated this video, if you thought this video was worse than John Travolta's The Fanatic, then stop picking on me. I'm going to make them stop. Go ahead and crush that thumbs down button. Actually, go ahead and punch me in the face directly through the monitor. Today I'm going to show you how to give the dampener this cool shimmering color, which doesn't have to be this color of gold. You can choose almost any color with the same shimmer. Then after the tutorial, I will be doing a before and after sound test. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun to make. Uh, definitely easier than you would think. Um, definitely a little bit more cost prohibitive than uh, just a piece of foam. But uh, I would say uh, well worth the effort. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and then afterwards we'll do the before and after sound test. All right, let's get it going. So the first thing we're gonna need is a keyboard, of course, and one that you can take apart and that has room for a dampener. This is a KBD fans case. And you'll need silicone. Uh, this is pretty cheap, 30 bucks on Amazon. And an optional thing you'll need is mold release. Now this will be only necessary if you plan on removing silicone from the case, which I am not. And we got here some uh, pigment, some sparkly pigment to make it look pretty. And we also will need a cup to measure and pour the silicone from. Uh, any cup will do. They have special measuring cups online, but I used a plastic one from my house. And also a marker just to mark the level on the cup. And also a level, because you'll need to make sure that the case is completely level. And of course, masking tape to plug all the holes in the case. So remove the keyboard or the PCB from the case and start taping over these holes. This hole here is for the reset button and we want to plug it, but we also want to keep it from filling in at all. So what I did here is grabbed a piece of wood that was almost exactly the same size and shape, but you could use anything that you can get your hands on. And I super glued it to the tape there to keep, uh, keep that from filling in so that we have access to the reset button uh, even after our silicone mold is done. And then you want to make sure that you get tape over where the USB cord plugs in as well. Just here we're making sure that the case is level. This is pretty important. Uh, you don't want the silicone pooling on one side or the other. Now we're going to, uh, or at least try to, I tried to fill the case with uh, water to the appropriate level and then pour the water into a cup to see how much silicone I'd need. And it didn't really work, but the water that I did catch gave me an idea approximately of how much I'd need. And so I just went over that uh, by about a half an inch on the cup and just marked that. As you can see here, this idea was uh, good in theory, but in practice, not so much. You can see most of the water did go into the cup and that gave me an idea of how much I would need. And I just estimated a little bit more than that and marked it there on the cup. Next, we're going to mix, pour and mix our silicone. So we're going to pour in uh, half of each one. It's a one to one ratio. So you'll need equal parts of both. And so I pour a little bit from one end then pour a little bit from the other end and just looking at the bottles as I went along to making, make sure that I was dumping in equal amounts from each one. 
because it's a tapered cup and if you just go halfway and halfway up the cup it won't be right you'll have you have to look at the bottles to tell now here we're adding the pigment to the silicone really easy you don't need a whole lot I just used two little dabs here from a popsicle stick and that was plenty and I used a different popsicle stick to stir just in case I felt like I was gonna need to add more pigment later uh, but I didn't so you could probably get away with using just one stick uh, yeah so just stir this son of a gun stir it really 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 good And then we're going to pour our silicone and you want to pour just you know all around the board and uh, try and just you know get an even coat in there and don't worry if uh, the silicone starts to go down into the uh, the threads of the where the screws go that's really easy to get out afterwards and you could just use a pair of uh, fine point tweezers just to get it out but uh, for the most part this is gonna shrink a little bit as it uh, as it cures so yeah, just try and get it right below the tops of the screws. If you leave it perfectly level with the screws like I did, um, the board is going to be really compressed. So I could have gone a little bit lower on this, and I recommend that you do. So yeah, just go right below where the screws go in, not dead even with it like I did. And I actually had to come back a couple hours later and redo the swirl pattern because when it's really uh, liquidy, the swirls disappear fast. You can see here I had a little bit of leakage, but that's no big deal. It wasn't enough to really change the levels in the uh, the case itself. So all I did was just trim this off with a razor blade and keep moving forward. And then I just cut around the top of this, just around each side, and just kind of worked it out. But I didn't want to yank it because I didn't want to rip pieces of the silicone out that I didn't want ripped out. And uh, I didn't really want to remove the silicone from the case uh, because I don't want it moving around in there. I, I want it to be, you know, like a solid piece in there, uh, not sliding around at all or moving around at all, which is why I decided not to go with the uh, mold release. And we're going to just uh, cut with a razor blade where the uh, USB port goes. Um, just look at the USB connection on the back of the PCB and just guesstimate. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. And a pair of fine needle nose uh, tweezers work great to get that out.
Okay, so as you can hear there, not really a difference in volume, but definitely tone. It's definitely more thawky now, a little bit more deadened. Uh, much more pleasing sound, uh, very nuanced. Really happy with it, uh, would do it again. If you guys have any questions about the tutorial, any things that uh, you may thought that I have missed that you wanted to see included, leave it in the comments below. I'd be happy to uh, address those concerns uh, quickly and respectfully. But um, yeah, had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, like I said, I would do it again despite the cost. I will probably do it on future builds. And just a heads up, I have pre-ordered the GMMK Pro as well as the uh, Rama Works Kara board. Okay, so got future builds coming up. Uh, the GMMK Pro is going to be a really special one. I'm going to do a lot of custom work on that one. It's going to be one of a kind. And uh, afterwards, I'm going to put it up for auction. Uh, so one of you guys will have the uh, chance to get that board. It's going to be one of a kind. There will be no other ones like it. Um, so yeah, I really advise you guys come back for that video when I get my GMMK Pro here between January and March. It's going to arrive. Uh, it's going to be a cyberpunk theme build. It's going to be really, really off the charts. And like I said, that's going to go up for auction. You guys will have a chance to get that board. Okay, guys. Uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please go ahead and do that and smack that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And like I said, uh, in all my other videos and this one, if you don't like the video, let me know. Hit a thumbs down. I'm happy to uh, receive any feedback positive or negative, and uh, I do appreciate the positive more than the negative, but uh, all feedback is good feedback. All right, guys, uh, thanks for uh, sticking around. Yeah, it's just a piece of that silicone. It's so solid. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one.